I always get questions like, hey, Newt, how do I improve my tracking? How do I get better aim? How do I get tracking like yours? So I'm gonna give you guys some steps and some rules to follow to improve your tracking and hopefully make you a better Call of Duty player. What's going on guys? You already know who it is. It is your boy, the Dry Newt here. Just got back from vacation, back on the grind, and you're here to learn about tracking, how to get better. So one thing I want you guys to do, go into aim labs, your warm up routine, whatever you're doing, go there and practice your aim. Focus completely. Sit down and focus. I want you to focus completely on your aim. Do nothing else. You're focusing on your aim. You're focusing on your tracking. You're focusing on following a target, whether that be in aim labs, Kovacs, or my personal best, just in a lobby full of bots, okay? Once you do that, dial in, and I'm assuming you already have your sensitivity that you're comfortable with, that you like, and your monitor coefficient and all that dialed in. After you do that, you're going to go into a game and you're just going to play. I don't want you to think about your aim. I don't want you to think about your tracking. I don't want you to think anything aim related once you get into game. This is a technique that a lot of pros use and it's a thing that is very difficult because you have to separate your training, what you were doing, and you have to isolate that and put it in the back of your head, basically your conscience, and just play the game, focus on other aspects. Now I know, like I said, it's gonna be very hard and difficult that, oh, I need to aim this far or track this guy like this or try to flick onto this guy. Just cut that out. It's something that you have to practice. It's something that you have to get down because once you go into game and you start thinking about your aim, you are missing out on vital aspects that are gonna make you a better player when it comes to where enemies are, your positioning, where you're getting shot at, where enemies are spawning at, different timings. This is something that you have to get down and your brain can't handle all this information coming in at once. If you're focusing too hard on one thing, you're not gonna be focusing on another thing. Like, are you out in the open? Are there people behind you, in front of you? Where are your teammates at? Is the enemies over here where they're spawning at? It's all these things that take place when you are in game where aim doesn't take precedence over you're going to go in and you're going to leave the aim training and the aim trainers and when you actually go in and game don't focus on your aim so much don't focus on it at all it comes naturally and it's something that you have to get down and something that you have to understand when it comes to aiming in general because if you're focusing like i said on aim you're not focusing on other important aspects of the game a lot of people are going to tell you, oh, it's not just about aim, it's about other aspects. Well, aim does play a vital part on it, but when you are trying to get better at a game, take for example, in football, the field kicker or the, the person who kicks the field goals, right? You're a kicker. You practice kicking, but when it comes to the game, you don't think about how you're going to kick, you just do it. It's just something that naturally comes. Just like a quarterback, he practices throws, they practice plays. He's not thinking about, oh, I need to throw you know, this hard with this much spin, I need to put a spiral on this, I need to throw a bullet here. It's nothing like that, he doesn't think about that. He thinks about, okay, I have my teammates over here, I have this wide receiver that's open, I need to throw to him before this defense comes and tries to intercept the ball or have an incomplete pass. Same thing when it comes to aiming. You leave aiming in the practice field, okay? You, you practice your aim and then you practice other things in game, your movement. That is an, a vital part in Call of Duty. There's a lot of things you can practice, but for now, I want you guys to leave your aim training in the aim trainer. And when it comes to end game, focus on other things, focus on your movement, focus on your positioning. And that's how you're going to get better aim, better tracking and improve as a Call of Duty player overall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Always remember to stay blessed and stay humble. Let me know down in the comment section below if you have any more tips and tricks when it comes to aiming 
and when it comes to your tracking as always guys remember stay blessed and stay humble and i'll catch you in another video peace